Greetings, in this video I'm going to create a simple drum sequence using the MPC Live. Check it out. So in my previous videos I sampled some drums and created a drum program. In this video I'm going to use the sequencer that's in the MPC Live to sequence those drums. So I have my program loaded up, I'm on sequence 1, I'm on track 6, and I have my drum program loaded into track 6. So this is the drum program that I edited earlier. You can hear the sounds. Okay, there's a few sounds on there. There's actually 16 sounds. So what I want to do is go to my sequencer. So this is my grid editor here. Here's all my tracks. Here is my sequencer. So what I want to do is make this a two bar loop. I want to go back to my sequencer here. So I want to select the first pad. I can do that with this right here. I can select a different pad or I could push this and then push the pad. So let me actually start off with that bass drum. It's a bit more mild. All right, so there's a couple ways to do this. First way is to tap this here and you can go up a bar and tap this here. This is a basic sequence editor. It's got 16 spots here and you scroll through your bars like this. Okay, it's a two bar loop. So this is the first bar. This is the second bar. You can see where you're at right there. I'm on pad A5 and the time division is 16. So therefore, each step has a spot right there. Now if I pump this up, it's going to change the whole grid. Right now I'm gonna stay on uh, 16. Cool, so now I pro actually just programmed two bars. So check it out. So say I wanna change the volume a little bit. Just wanna bring the velocity down. I could do that right there like that. And I wanna match it here on this bar as well. I might even bring it down, down a little bit. About right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my main and I'm gonna bring the tempo down a little bit. So now what I wanna do is copy the sequence. So I'm gonna click the pencil tool. I'm going to look down here, it says copy. I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole sequence here. I want to copy it to an empty sequence slot, do it, and I want to rename that sequence. That way it just doesn't have the exact same name. Sequence 2. Okay, look right there. Sequence 1, sequence 2. Cool. So now I can edit the sequence 2 and it will not affect sequence 1. So what do I want to do? I could do anything at this point. Let's say maybe I want to bring in a hi-hat. So I'm going to pick this hi-hat right here. Cool. I want to put it on the off beat here. Cool. Now I know that hi-hat is going to be way too loud, so I'm going to automatically just bring that down. Cool, let's hear how that sounds. Very basic. So now what I can do is I could copy this again. Go ahead and put that on an empty sequence. Rename that to sequence three. Cool, and you can see here Sequence one, two, three. Let's say I want to bring in the snare now. So I'll go ahead and select a snare. So now I'm going to go to my first bar. I'm going to throw that snare in right there. Every other beat right there. And I'm just going to bring it down.
All right, and I do want to rename that. So I'll click there and just go back and rename it. Cool. So I got one, two, three, four. So now the three and four are the same still. Now I can add a little variation to four if I want. So I could come over here and maybe I want to add an open hi-hat, okay? So let's try something. Let's try that. That's my pad. That's my pad right there. I'll go to the first bar. I see I'm in bar one, so I'm going to add. I want to make sure I have the pad selected. I want to add it right there. And then I want to go to bar two. I'm going to add it maybe right there. Cool. Let's see how this sounds. So I'll go back to the bar so you can see where it hits. It's going to hit right there. And it chokes it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the volume down. Or the velocity. Bring the velocity down there. Cool. There you have it. That's how you create a sequence in the sequence editor mode on the MPC Live. Straightforward, simple. In my next video, I'm going to add some different sounds to these sequences. So go ahead and check that out next. My name is Matthew. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.